Triangulation is using two known points to find a third point. Now, this is actually something that we do all of the time. Every version of sense making that we can possibly do, every moment of every day, involves us triangulating information. Triangulation, if we could personify it, it would say, I'm the ultimate sense making mechanism to both the known and the unknown. Let's break that apart. There are three powers to this thing that we do every moment of every day. And that is we use what we know to make sense of stuff. Number two, we use what we know to remember old stuff. And last, we use what we know to actually create new stuff. That kind of sounds almost self-explanatory, but it's pretty profound once we break it down just a little bit more. So if we were going to rephrase this, it would be, we use two points to understand a third point. We can use two points to remember a third point, and we can use two points that we do know to imagine a third point. So now let's go into examples visually to see what this might look like. The first power of triangulation is that we can use two points to understand a third point. So what does that look like exactly? Let's see. This is you. You've met me. I'm Nick over here, and I'm this circle, and I'm saying things about pace layers. But if both of those things, me and the term pace layers, are new to you, then from your perspective, there's not much of a triangle. And so you can't really get a sense of depth or any real perspective on these two things, me and pace layers. However, as you become more comfortable with me, I become more clear to you and closer to your level of understanding of what I'm all about. And you also start to understand pace layers a little bit. So now what are we getting? We're getting some sort of triangle forming where we can use what we know about Nick to inform what we know about pace layers. Over more time, over more time with myself and with this concept, we have a greater understanding, a clarity of both of me, Nick, and of this concept called pace layers. And that is the triangle that we're going for um, in, in this metaphor, is that we want to have a great understanding of both pace layers and of me. And why is that so important? Because now, when there's a new concept out there, new concept X, and perhaps you hear me talking about it, then you already know what I'm about these days, and you know what I think about pace layers. So that gives you a good sense already of how you're going to approach concept X. Because if you didn't have these two dots to triangulate around, then you wouldn't be able to make sense of it. So very quickly with concept X, you can pull it into a greater, um, a, a more balanced triangle using me as the pivot point along with yourself, the two known points to extrapolate and understand a third point. And that's the first power of triangulation, using two known points to understand a third point. Let's go into the second power. The second power of triangulation is to use two points to remember a third point. Before I show you what that looks like on the next graphic, this graphic isn't from me. This is actually from a little known lecture by someone called Richard Feynman. And he is using this graphic to show that we can use two points to remember a third point. We knew these two points, these two points, and these two points. And from them, we can triangulate back into our past memories to recover lost knowledge. I'm not sure if you've ever had a good friend or maybe it's your significant other. And between the two of you, you can recall that thing. But if you were just by yourself, you wouldn't have been able to. That's an example of using two points to triangulate back into the past to remember a third point. Okay, and the third power of triangulation is perhaps, I don't know, the most exciting when you really think about what it's doing for us in this world of linking our thinking, is we can take our existing body of growing thoughts, especially if we've externalized it into this um, note-making space, and we can use it to actually imagine a third point, almost an intersection between the two. And at these intersections, at these crossroads between different ideas, understandings, that's where we're creating new insights, and from new insights, creating new value. And that is how you can use two points to imagine a third point. That means the better that you can triangulate, the faster that you can move in the world of ideas. If 
if you don't overcollect and drown your system in noise, if you don't overstructure and suffocate your system in rigidity, and if you don't overhighlight and just leave no time for actually actively thinking, then, then you will have idea emergence. You'll have an emergent system that encourages your ability to triangulate knowledge. You will leverage these always present powers of triangulation to understand, to remember, and to imagine better than ever before. Thank you.